right, y'all. Peace and blessings. God bless y'all. I'm Jarvis Kingston. I hope y'all doing all right and staying strong and solid in these times that run. I hope that you have repented and you are baptized. I pray that you have new beginnings. I pray that you are safe and protected. And I hope that you have new beginnings and open doors. And I pray that your current situation gets better. All right. Now, this is not really much of a message. Just taking some time out just to praise the most high. You know, praise him with your dance. Praise him with your lips. Praise him with your mouth. Sing a new song. Just just praise and worship him. You know, just in the midst of everything going on right now. There's so much going on all four corners of the earth. There's so much going on right now in your personal life, all right? Just stop what you're doing. Just give him all the glory. Give him all the praise. He is able. He is worthy. Nothing is too hard for him. He is bigger than your problems. He is bigger than your issues. Give him the glory and praise in the midst of everything. Stomp your feet. Clap your hands. Shout out to him. Cry out to him. Shout. Give all praise to the Most High of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob forever. He loves you so much. He is right by you. He was with you right now as we speak. Right now he's with you, okay? He is with you. He is with you, all right? Do not worry so much. Do not have so much anxiety so much. Do not be so anxious and on edge so much. He is with you. Be calm. Be still and know. Hallelujah. Give him the glory and praise, okay? Just want to give this time out to just give him some praise, so much going on. You've been doing so much. You've been on your feet. You got to take some time out to praise him. Okay, you got to take some time to just stop what you're doing and just acknowledge him in all your ways. Stop leaning on your own understanding. Lean on his word, his law, statutes, and commandments. All right. Just want to read some Psalms to you, you know, just to remind you to keep praising him with your dance. Keep praising him in the midst of everything. Okay. The book of Psalm 150, verse 4. Praise him with timbrel and dancing. Praise him with string instruments and pipe. The book of Psalm 149, verse 3. Let them praise his name with dancing. Let them sing praises to him with trim- timbrel, timbrel, and lyre. And lyre. All right. The book of Psalm 30, verse 11 through 12. You have turned for me my mourning into dancing. You have loosed my sackcloth and girded me with gladness, that my soul may sing praise to you and not be silent. O oh Lord, my God, I will give thanks to you forever. Hallelujah. Give us some praise, y'all. Give us some praise. Give us some praise in the midst of your situation. Just give it to him. Give him all the glory. Shout out to him. Shout out to him. Praise him with your mouth. Praise him with your lips. The book of Hebrews, chapter 13, verse 15. Through him, then, let us continually offer up a sacrifice of praise to God. That is the fruit of lips that gives thanks to his name. The book of Psalm 34, verse 1, a psalm of David, when he fiend madness before Ambelech, who drove him away and departed, I will bless the Lord at all times. His praise shall continually be in my mouth. The book of Psalm 63, verse 3, because your loving kindness is better than life, my lips will praise you. The book of Psalm 71, verse 23, my lips will shout for joy when I sing praises to you and my soul which you have redeemed. The book of Psalm 119, verse 171. Let my lips utter praise, for you teach me your statutes. Hallelujah. The book of Isaiah, chapter 57, verse 18 through 19. I have seen his ways, but I will heal him. I will lead him and restore comfort to him and to his mourners, creating the praise of the lips. Peace, peace to him who is far and to him who is near, says the Lord, and I will heal them. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Praise him with your mouth. Have positive speech. The lips of the righteous. Praise the most high with everything you have. The book of Psalm 71, verse 8. My mouth is filled with your praise and with your glory all day long. The book of Psalm 145, verse 21. My mouth will speak the praise of the Lord and all flesh will bless his holy name forever and ever. The book of Psalm 34, verse 1. A Psalm of David. When he... Fiend man is before Ambulage, who drove him away, and he departed. I will bless the Lord at all times. His praise shall continually be in my mouth. The book of Psalm 109, verse 30. With my mouth, I will give thanks abundantly to the Lord, and in the midst of many, I will praise him. The book of Psalm 149, verse 6. Let the high praises of God be in their mouth, and a two-edged sword in their hand. 
The book of James, chapter 3, verse 9. With it we bless our Lord and Father, and with it we curse men who have been made in the likeness of God. The book of Psalm 51, verse 15. O Lord, open my lips, that my mouth may declare your praise. The book of Psalm 40, verse 3. He put a new song in my mouth, a song of praise to our God. Many will see and fear and will trust in the Lord. The book of Romans, chapter 15, verse 6. So that with one accord, you may with one voice glorify the God and Father of our Lord Jesus Christ. The book of Psalm 66, verse 17. I cried to him with my mouth, and he was extolled with my tongue. The book of Psalm 71, verse 15. My mouth shall tell of your, uh, should tell of your righteousness and of your salvation all day long, for I do not know the sum of them. The book of Psalm 8, verse 2. From the mouth of infants and nursing babies, you have established strength because of your adversaries to make the enemy and the revengeful cease. The book of Hebrews, chapter 13, verse 15. Through him, then, let us continually offer up a sacrifice of praise to God. That is the fruit of lips that give thanks to his name. The book of Psalm 119, verse 108. Oh, accept the free will offerings of my mouth, O Lord, and teach me your ordinances. Let's always keep praising him, all right? His salvation will always be made known. Let's always praise and worship him. Let's always praise the most high. Always, always, always. Always stay in prayer, people, all right? Things are really closing in on people. People feel really intense right now. People, backs are against the wall. People feel like they're stuck in a dead end. Just praise the Lord and give him all the shout you can. Cry out to him in the midst of everything going on in your life, okay? Keep the kingdom of heaven first, okay? Keep praising him. Keep praising him. All right. So there you have it, people. What I would like to do as we close out is just give all the glory to the most high of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. You know, I just wanted to just get that out because I don't know who might need to hear this. Of course, me and myself, I speak for myself all the time. I do these messages, but also I want to speak for everyone else, too, because all of our situations are different. All of our battles are different. All of our um, situations are different than others, but we're all still serving the same creator of the most high of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. And we're still going to cry out to the Lord. We're still going to pray to him. We're still going to trust him through it all. All right. So just give him some glory and praise. All right. Just give him some praise. Stop what you're doing. Stop focusing. Stop worrying. Stop overthinking. Just praise him. All right. Give him the praise. All right. That's what he wants from you. He wants your praise. He wants your time. He wants your worship. He wants to be more intimate and close with you. He wants you to be first and he wants to be first in your life all right so that's that people let's give all the glory to the most high abraham isaac and jacob and his only begotten son who died for our sins all right so here we go he is the adam the advocate the almighty the alpha and omega amen amen the apostle of our profession the arm of the lord the atoning sacrifice for our sins the author and finisher of our faith the author and perfecter of our faith the author of life, the author of salvation, the beginning and the end, the beginning of creation of God, the beloved son, the blessed only potentate, the blessed only ruler, the branch, the bread of God, the bread of life, the bridegroom, the capstone, the captain of salvation, the chief cornerstone, the chief shepherd, Christ, the Christ of God, the consolation of Israel, the cornerstone, the counselor, the creator, the day spring, the deliverer, the desire of the nations, the door, the elect of God, Emmanuel, the eternal life, the everlasting father, the faithful and true, faith and true witness, faithful witness, the first and the last, the first begotten, the firstborn from the dead, firstborn over all creation, the forerunner, the gate, the glory of the Lord, God, the good shepherd, the great high priest, the great shepherd, the head of the church, the heir of all things, the high priest, holy and true, the holy one, the hope, the hope of glory, the horn of salvation, the I am, the image of God, Jehovah, Jesus of Nazareth, Jesus, the judge of Israel, the judge, king eternal, king of Israel, king of kings and lord of lords, king of saints, king of the ages, king of the Jews, the king, the lamb, the lamb of God, the lamb without blemish, the last Adam, the lawgiver, the leader and commander, the life, the life of the world, the lion of the tribe of Judah, the living one, the living stone, the Lord, the Lord, Yahweh, Yahweh, Yahuwah, Yahweh, Shai, Yahweh, Ben Yahweh, Ahai, Yahshai, Mahamashiach, Barakatha, Shalom, Shalom, Yeshua, our righteousness, Lord of all, Lord of glory, Lord of lords, man from heaven, man of sorrows, mediator of the new covenant, the mediator, the messenger of the covenant, the Messiah, the mighty God, the mighty one, the morning star, the Nazarene, the offspring of David, 
the only begotten Son of God, our great God and Savior, our holiness, our spiritual husband, our Passover, our protection, our redemption, our righteousness, our sacrificed Passover lamb, the power of God, the precious cornerstone, the Prince of Kings, the Prince of Life, the Prince of Peace, the Prophet. Yes, yes, he is the Redeemer, the resurrection and life, the revelation, the righteous branch, the righteous one, the rock, the root of David, the rose of Sharon, the ruler of God's creation, the ruler of the kings of the earth, the Savior, the seed of woman, a shepherd and bishop of souls, the Shiloh, the son of David, the son of God, the son of man, son of the blessed, son of the most high God, the source of eternal salvation for all who obey him, the son of righteousness, the just one, the one mediator, the stone the builders rejected, the true bread, the true God, the true light, the true vine, the truth, the way, the way, the truth, and life. The wisdom of God, the witness, the wonderful counselor, the word, the word of God, the word of life, the word. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. We touch and agree. Yes, yes. All, all glory to the most high of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. You know, we serve an amazing creator. We serve a wonderful, wonderful only begotten son. We serve, we praise a, a mighty, great one who died for our sins. Hallelujah. So, you know, just focus on the most high his son. Just Focus on that right now. This world wants to distract you and take your mind off things. The enemy wants to always keep your mind and worrying and overthinking. The Most High wants you to be still. He wants you to be calm. He wants you to have that peace, okay? That comfort. Let the Most High comfort you with the word. Hallelujah. Let him comfort you with his presence. Let him comfort you with his love. His love and kindness, all right? His tenderheartedness. Hallelujah. Come on, y'all. The power of the Most High is way more powerful than any of our problems or situations, okay? Nothing is too hard for him. Nothing is too difficult for him. He is able. He is worthy. He is worthy. He is able. All right? Always remember that. So there you have it, people. I pray to God that whoever lists this message, I pray that you get baptized. You start your life off for the most high. I pray that you repent. I pray that in the midst of your situation, watch the dramatic turnaround, the change of events, the changing of the guard, the, trans- the transition, the ultimate change. Just watch how the Most High changes your life, all right? Just let him in your heart. Let Christ in your heart. Let's start over, all right? Hang in there, okay? If you're in a deep, dark space, just, all right? If some people are dealing with depression or suicidal thoughts. Some people are in a really hard place right now, emotionally, mentally, focus on the word of God, sing out to him, cry out to him, hallelujah, praise the most high, ask him for some help, ask him for some mercy, ask him for some favor, all right, keep seeking the Lord, keep seeking the kingdom, keep seeking the most high, please, hallelujah, so y'all stay strong, y'all stay blessed, I'm Jairus Kingston, I got much love for y'all, peace.